Kia ora and welcome back. So um, we've made the first box, or box one, um, and the walls. Um, now we're going to make box two. So if we zoom in on this, so we want to sort of figure out where point three is, so this sort of corner of the box. Um, so if we look at it, can uh, let's just draw it. So we've got this distance from here to here so we're going to call that the setback so we, we need to make that up um, so we might just measure that quickly and then we've also got if we start from point zero we've got this distance is there which is the wall thickness so we already know the wall thickness so we just need to measure uh, that distance there so let's just uh, come out of that and then make sure we do that uh, zoom in a bit so if we go distance again go from there and I'm holding down shift uh, you can start to see we can infer that that point so that distance is we'll just say three meters um, it's close enough for us okay so we're going to do another construct point uh, vector construct point bring in that so we're going to need to put it across in the x direction which is from there across the so point one so we need to go x in the wall thickness so we can just bring that down and then y is um, uh, so we've moved over to there and then we need to let's just come back into here we can see what's going on so we need to get up to here so we now we need the setback so that was three meters so let's go 3.00 uh, call this setback okay and then we can tie that into the y um, so now we've got here's point four point three so we've got one two three so let's just Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I'll just come back into here. Uh, so we're trying to find point three. So we've got the third point. So that we can create another rectangle now. So um, let's just copy this one. So zoom in a bit. Command or bring the there and then hold down Option or Alt, depending on what software. So uh, we're going to change the point from that point to this point. Um, so let's just turn it on because that's previewed off at the moment. So we can see we've got that square, but actually that's the inside one. So that's not the one we want. We want this one up here. So let's just delete that and come up to here, bring that down. So we want to change the point where that is happening. So I'm going to turn that on, preview. So now um, that's right, but it's the wrong way. So um, the Y direction, so up the page, is the right direction, but the X is wrong. We need to make that go the opposite way. So if we make that go negative, we'll be able to do that. So um, here, if we just come over here, double click and put negative. We'll start to write. You can see negative comes up there. So uh, this is x, so we want to bring the x down into that, and then from there into the z. So uh, bring this out, like something like that. So now we've got our second plane. Um, so the start of our second box. And what we can do uh, is we can just literally take that box and then feed it up into the same extrude that we used for the first box there so uh, we can take this and holding down shift when we add that in it, it joins so you can see now we've got two extruded boxes so let's just come back here a bit select all that bring that down um, copy and paste that so this is box two so we know what's going on 
Okay, so we're on box two. Let's just move this down a bit. So now we need to do the the second one. So we need to find here point four. So we can see that it's going to be a wall thickness up and a wall thickness across. So what we may do now is we can actually just move uh, or copy. It's a little bit funny, but in Grasshopper, a move is like copy. So we're going to move point three, um, which we just had here. So we can bring this down uh, and put that so we know what we're doing. So point three. Uh, so we're going to actually move this one um because it's we it's just the wall thickness and the x, a minus wall thickness in the x and then a plus x uh, wall thickness in the y so let's move this so we can double click there move and so we want to move the the um so here come up to this one so you can see it's moved uh it just straight up so we need to figure out the motion of that. So let's figure this out. So we need to go uh, the wall thickness up and across. So um, we can go, we need to tell it direction. So we need to put in a vector. So X in here. So we're going to move uh, wall thickness. Um, and then we need to make that negative and then we can put that into motion and so on the plan where are we why is it not showing up i've got something wrong there oh i haven't joined the two there we go uh, so you can sort of see we're close but now we need to move it up as well so what we can do is bring in we need to move that in the y direction so we can put y for the y vector and then using the wall thickness again bring that in um, but we don't need negative this time but what we want to do is add all of these things together so let's go um, hold down shift or hold down shift plus so we get the addition um, like I said before these can be found up here uh, and then so now if we take that plus that and then feed that into the motion oh, feed that into the motion you can see if we zoom into there and we highlight it the green one we're now in the right place so now we can create so that this is a little bit um, back and forth but that allowed us to take um, that 0.3 and then in essence copy or in grasshopper's case move that over to the new import where we can do the inside cube so what we're going to do is uh, in this case we're going to do another plane so uh, we can copy this no what one do we want we want to copy this one down because that's the inside one so option well, move it hold down option or alt and we can bring that down uh, so we've got a new starting point i guess let's just move all this over a bit so a new plane uh, let's double click on this we need to turn this on because it was previewed off so we're in there but we need that negative again so uh, bring this in line so we need a negative double click neg uh, and where are we pulling that from uh, we got it up here so a negative x so that's the one that we figured out here so we can take this and bring it down to there feed that into negative x and so if you look in here now we've got that on top of the other side and we can do the same so we can 
pull this up holding down shift and add it to that extrusion uh, and that's also got the subtraction so if we come back in here uh, we now should have the two pieces let's just double check because something doesn't quite look right uh, let's see let's see if we right click on this and um, bake it out uh, I'm just going to group it because at the moment it's probably a few bits so we can just go yes I'm just going to leave it on default for now okay so you can see something isn't quite right there because we've still got that extrusion coming through uh, so something quite got right so let's, let's select this and we can delete that so somewhere I've messed up and we need to come back in let's turn that on let's see what's going on I can just make that out I think I've got the height wrong so this one uh, we also 0.3 needed to have the floor thickness in it so uh, we can add um, a new piece there so I've got it in the wrong place similar to what I did before right so the Z value of that so if we come back into here so we've just got that thickness to deal with right let's see if we can do it another way so we've done this way uh, um, we need to also move that point in the Z direction so we could probably do that starts getting a little bit complicated so what I'm going to do is actually uh, delete those so I'm going to delete all that oh, not all that I need that so I'm going to delete that 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 and we're going to create a new point so let's go back to our little thing this is point 0.4 so I'm going to copy this and paste that there so we need the set back uh, is what we need and then we need to bring it up so let's just start that so set back is right so we're going to do that into the Y so that goes into the Y the X it's on that axis so we actually don't need that so we can uh, click on there and hold down alt I mean sorry command on Mac and control on Windows and we can come up and basically get rid of that so is that what I did I don't think I did let's try again because we don't want that so there why is it not doing that I'm not too sure I'm just going to delete that construct point construct point and we know we want to move it in the y direction that distance uh, and in this case we need to bring it up the floor thickness as well in the Z so we've got the floor thickness there so I can bring that into there and then if we set let's just come back to the top view uh, so you can see we've got that plane it's now in the wrong place so if I select the plane you can sort of see where that is so if we put that into the right place we're getting closer but actually we need that wall thickness as well so we need the set pack plus the wall thickness okay so uh, that's in the Y direction so let's do a plus uh, addition so we need to put that in here so we need to go wall thickness plus setback and then add that into the y direction 
So now we're in the right direction that way. Let's just double check. So if we select on that point, we can see, especially in this view, we're also in the right direction now. So hopefully we can trace that all back and that should work. So if we oh, double click on there and if we bake this out, bake and I'll group it again. You can see that's looking much better. So let's zoom that out and just pull it out this way. I can select that, come up here, and zoom extents. Well, not zoom extents. Uh, zoom selected or next to it. So we can focus in on that. So that's looking like two, two boxes now. Um, so what do we need to do next? Let's come back, have a look in Safari, uh, maybe on this one. Uh, where are we? So we've done each box. Now we probably need to start putting these doors or openings in. So this is a little bridge that's going across there and then into a door. So we need to figure out how to do that. So um, we'll do that next.